You know, we got to give it to you real in this video. And big shout out to my man, Joe. And I be writing my boy Joe while he in prison. You know, we, we keep in contact with each other. So many of our brothers and sisters locked up right now. And he asked me to do this video on for the young people. And I told Joe, it ain't just the young people, it's the old people too. Because Joe, man, got a chance to get out later on in life and get it and get it right. And he really thinking about changing his life over and giving his life to God. So many of our brothers are locked up. And I got family members that I just pray hard for and I encourage them. Because when we talk about gang banging, prostituting, hoeing, you know, pimping, hustling, all that stuff, thugging, that thug life, that stuff, man, ain't no, ain't no good in none of that stuff. I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have them straighten up your life, you're going to wind up dead and in hell. And you're going to see how bad you is when you get to hell. See, the, the thug life has taken so many of our children right now. Somebody, kids is on the block right now, setting dope, won't even come home, nothing ran away from home. Uh, already locked up behind doing this and then when they get out they do it again see this is one of my raw videos and my boy you told me to keep it raw and uncut you know but without cussing and all that kind of stuff but sometimes you got to keep it raw because all we do is call each other niggas nigga this nigga that you know what i'm saying nigga i'm from this side of town or nigga what hood you from and we dying over this kind of stuff we dying over a color you know eddie griffin had a, a old stand up and he was talking about game banging and thugging and he made a good point. He said niggas are dying over a block that they don't even own. How many how many people right now on them corners claiming this? Well, it's this, it's that. Uh, nigga, I'm from here. Nigga, if you ain't from where I'm from, you ain't talking about nothing. Nigga, we finna scrap. See, the world done got so ignorant. And our kids, they in bad shape. And they got to see this and live in this, in this century right here, man. This, this is ridiculous what we are going through. And we are dying over a block that we don't even own. And we got the same color skin. You black, I'm black. You know, it ain't just the blacks doing this. It's people in all cultures that do this because people are always talking about blacks and Mexicans and how we are so much alike. You know, the Mexican gangs, how they kill up each other. And I was looking at a movie called Doing Hard Time with Boris in there. And that was a scene in the movie, a guy named Dirty Kurt from Detroit was in there. And he had a beef with another brother. And he was telling the brother that, you know, they couldn't they couldn't reach their agreement. But he, he had a meeting with the little Hispanic gang. And he told them, he would give them such and such amount of money, you know, if they took out this brother that he wasn't getting along with. And the Hispanic man said something made so much sense. And I just, had to, I just had to think on that for the rest of the day. And he said, why should I risk one of my people to help take out one of y'all people? When he said it just like this, why should I, re why should I uh, risk one of my people when niggas kill each other every day? He get excitement out of watching niggas kill themselves. And see, we to this day, we still doing that. You want to say nigga this, nigga that. Watch that word nigga. I used to say it all the time. I'm guilty. I used to say it all the time. But now, I, I don't say that word. I try not to say nigga no more. Because when I start really listening at it and look up what it really mean, it's foolish. I say my brother now. Or what's up, doc? You know, sometimes the only way to practice doing something better to getting better is to practice doing that. You want to stop cussing, you got to practice stop cussing. You want to live right, you got to stop, you got to practice on living right. You got to stop living wrong. And to all my youngsters right now, man, I'm going to tell you dead in front of this world and this camera, that is not the way. You getting caught up on the bling blinging, the riding on the rims and the selling dope and the thug life, the hoeing, the prostituting, the pimping, that stuff ain't, that ain't going to lead to nothing. Because when that fall down, what do you have behind it? You gotta get for real with your life. Care about your life. So many people done died already because when I grew up, it was a lot of people got killed behind gang banging. It was a lot of people got killed. We used to see these drive-bys. We used to be right there in the middle of the streets where the shooting was going on there. And just thank God we still here. That's why I'm here to encourage somebody. Get out before you get killed, man. That is no way of life. And we and the majority of the people in this life got kids. Care about your kids because your kids are watching you. Quit getting caught up in the hype. We see this stuff on, on TV and we, we get caught up in it like it's the life. I'm going to tell you right now, calling a woman a hoe, that ain't, no, that ain't the way to do it. We want to call each other hoes and this and that, nigga this, nigga that. You got to change your way of speaking because that's ignorant talk. You got to get past that. You got to start talking like, like God wants you to talk. Show yourself Christ-like. That's why I'm saying we got to quit. We got to we got to help our youngsters, but it's not just the youngsters. You got people 34, 35 years old, some of them 40, still game banging. There is a time when you just got to quit this stuff. There are still people that's 40, 50 years old in the club trying to get the young women to stay here. 
Man, you're getting old, man. You ought to be at that point in your life where you just pass all that. Quit trying to be a pimp. Quit trying to be a thug. Quit trying to be a hustler. Man, them days in your life should be over with. And you should be helping the young people and telling them, look here, young brother, this ain't the way to go. But what we do, we agree with them, and we show them the ropes on how to live wrong. And I'm not talking, I'm not doing this video to make nobody mad, but when you talk about game, man, and, and, and it's hustling, Man, come on, y'all. Let's get for real. We see the we see the outcome of that. You gang bang and hustle for only so long, and after a while, the game the game will spank you because the game every game has an end. That's what don't nobody look at. They look at why they end it, but every game has an end. And if you don't hurry up and get out of that game or that hustling and that pimping, after a while, something gonna take you out. And I'm not trying to I'm not trying to wish nothing bad on nobody, but these are just the facts. You look at this stuff. You look at you look at the outcome of game banging. Dead or in prison. On your way to hell. Because after you dead and gone, ain't no time to get it right. Ain't no time to get it right. And big shout out to everybody that's that's encouraging the young people. That's why I say we got so much negative stuff that don't nobody want to be positive. That's why I'm doing all these positive videos. I want my page to be positive. I'm talking about God. I'm talking about praying for people. I want us all to get to that level where we can just be on one accord for God because this life down here is jacked up. And it ain't about pimping. It ain't about being no player. It ain't about being the riding on the bling blings and get, seeing how many, you know, grills you can get in your mouth and, and, and down talking women and women disrespect. Women, y'all disrespect y'all disrespect yourself now. Y'all a lot of women, not all of them, but a lot of women don't care about themselves now. They go right along with the disrespect because they don't feel they can do better. So let's keep it real. And remember that these streets will get you killed. Get off these streets if you're on these streets. Get off that corner because nine times out of ten, somebody going to come disrespect you because I, I got a new flash for you. Ain't nobody fighting no more. It ain't about fighting no more. Now, people are peeling these cap backs and, and they, they, they caps are getting peeled. Let me just say it like that. People are pick, picking up that gun and pulling that trigger. And once you kill a man or kill a woman, it's over. Ain't no coming back. So think about this life and how you got to look over your shoulder all the time just to watch out for people that's going to be disrespectful towards you, trying to take over your block, and be looking over your back for the police. Because once you get a case and in that system, it's hard enough being black. You got When you're in that system, you in that system, and it's hard to get out of that system. You got to straighten up your life. Be blessed.